Hello YouTube, today I'm back with another tutorial over the new Amazon Fire HD6. Yesterday I created a video showing you how you can install a launcher and set it as default, so be sure to check that out as well. So today what we're going to do is get Google Apps installed onto this device. And this should work for the Fire HD6 and the Fire HD7. The only Google apps that so far I've found have not worked are Hangouts and of course the Play Store is not going to work because that would require root. So I just did a full Android, um, well a full factory reset on this device. So this is how you would get it like right out of the box. So this is unmodified and all that the this tutorial is going to require um, the use of ADB the Android debugging bridge so if you don't do not ha know how to use that please look that up uh, because I'm not going to cover um, how to get that set up you're going to need to get that set up on your computer so the first thing you'll need to do is download the file in the description and I suggest doing this from the computer uh, so that way you can easily extract it and then place it onto the device. So let's move over to the computer. Okay so once you have the firegaps.zip file um, downloaded just right click on it and choose extract all or extract here whatever you are on Windows you might have to use 7-zip or something like that and then just right click on the folder and choose copy and then make sure your fire device is plugged in so I am going to plug mine in now and it should come up and go into the internal storage and just paste it in okay so now that we have the um, folder on the device. Let's move back over to the device. So now that we have the folder transferred onto the device, we, we, we need to install an app uh, to manage files. So download some sort of file manager or sideload your own. So just go into the store, type in file manager, and I'm going to install ES File Explorer. So once it's installed, open it up, and then go into the Fire Gaps folder. So here you'll see a bunch of APKs, and I'm going to be adding some extra APKs, such as Google Books and things like that, just so y'all have more variety of apps. So the first thing you need to do in, in order to get these Google Apps working is you need to first install the Google Account Manager. So look for the um, Google Accounts Manager APK. Just click on it. It should allow you to install it. And then it's going to say installation blocked if you have not already checked from unknown sources. And I'm going to go back into US File Explorer. So, once you have checked uh, to install from unknown, unknown sources, just select the Google Account Manager and install. Then choose Next and install. Choose Done. And then after this, you need to reboot. And I have tried uh, doing this whole thing without... Um, rebooting and it doesn't work so once it boots back up uh, unlock it go back into ES File Explorer go back into the fire gaps folder and then we need to install the Google services framework so just click on it and choose install
And then once again, we need to reboot. Alright, once that's booted up again, go back into ES File Explorer another time. Go into File Gaps folder. And this time we are going to install Google Play Services. Alright, and then this is the last time we're going to have to reboot. Okay, now finally go back into ES File Explorer. Go into Fire Gaps folder once again. And we need to install the Play Store because some of the Google apps check if the Play Store exists. And it may use some sort of service from the Play Store. But the Play Store actually isn't going to let you install any applications. Alright, we are not done yet, but we are pretty close. So. What we can do now is uh, log in to the uh, Google account. So you can actually do that from just clicking on the um, Play Store. And it will come in and with uh, Add Google Account. Alright, now just enter your email and password. going to disable the backup function alright so this is what I'm talking about you'll be able to open up the Play Store but there's not gonna be anything it's gonna say no connection even though there is a connection so next you can just um, install what app you want and we're still not finished I just want to show you um, I wanna show you the problem and the solution so Let's install something like Google Plus. And then if you choose open, it's going to say couldn't connect to server. But there is a way to fix this in ADB. So let's move back onto the computer one more time. Okay, so at this point you'll need to have ADB set up. So in Windows you'll need to go into the command prompt and go into the directory where ADB is installed and uh, use ADB from there. Um, I'm on Linux, I have ADB in my path, so I can just type in ADB and I have it. So what we need to do is uh, we need to modify a permission on one of the Google apps, one of the Google services. I looked through the log, the logcat, and I realized I saw some, some um, permission error and so I found out a way that I could fix this error. So what we need to do is um, go into the ADB shell. But first of all, type in ADB devices, and it should show up as a series of numbers and letters. And if it's all question marks, that means you have the driver installed incorrect. So from here, just type in ADB shell. So now we are in the shell of the device. And obviously at this point you need the device connected to the computer. And once you connect it to the computer there sh and try to use ADB, there should be a pop-up that says allow ADB on this device or something like that. So once we're in the shell, um, we need to fix this permission error. So in order to do that, type in PM, that stands for Package Manager. Type PM Grant. And then we are going to grant a permission to com.google.android.gms. And this permission will be called, so do a space, and then Android dot permission dot capital interact uh, 
underscore across underscore users and I will put this command in the description of the video so once you uh, type that in click enter and it should show a new line and now you actually should be good so let me just show you how things are working alright so now that uh, we have fixed the permission I am going to show you that Google Plus does work and you have to have the version that I have in the uh, download if you get the newer version of Google Plus it unfortunately crashes alright so here it is and you've got Google Plus I'm not going to show you that Gmail works just cuz I don't want to show everyone my email um, I'll show you YouTube works so I'm going to install that real quick uh, choose open and as you can see it is loading it has my account already logged in and there's all these videos and it runs nice and smooth um, I'll show you what works how Google search works I'm going to open it up alright so here is the um, I'm not I haven't really tested this Google search so I'm not sure if it really all works Okay, it looks like Google search is not working, unfortunately. I will show you that Google Drive works. Alright. And even Goop Play Games um, works. And if you have an app that uses the Play Games services installed, it actually allows you to view the leaderboard and all that the music app works the newsstand works play movies may or may not work I do not have an account and I guess I'll show you that Gmail does work and so those are just some of the Google apps. There's a bunch that you can uh, download and sideload onto your device. The only one I was pretty disappointed is that Google Hangouts does not work. And I tried many different versions and unfortunately I could not get that to work. So I hope this... Uh, I hope you like this tutorial and please subscribe. And thanks for watching.